Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Bitch. Multiple orgasms. Now that I have your attention. It says here that you accept Hand them a sandwich. Yeah, that's the butt. Hey, everyone. What's up, guys? Hi. We are back. <coughs> so, uh... After a brief break, here we are, uh, going over our last round real quick. Mike hasn't coughed at all during the break and has coughed twice now into the microphone. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm moving away. Um, <coughs> three times. I blame the hair dye. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, during our last session, uh, we were going to get into a battle, and then we didn't because I talked our way out of it and then managed to alienate everyone in the group at the same time. Yeah. Class. Hooray. So we uh, we were supposed to meet with Esmeralda as well. She is not thrilled with us at this moment. Uh, by us, I mean me. And Rectavio is MIA. We also uh, are supposed to hopefully meet the Burgermaster, but we just embarked on a quest to hopefully save a little girl from Lake Zorovich, which, if I remember correctly, from talking to my very good friend Zoldar... Uh, Doesn't sound like a good friend. It's, uh, yeah, we're not the best of friends, but, uh, yeah, he hunts wolves there, so we're probably going to run into some wolves that Mike might try and talk to, yeah, Zoldar, and Kruskin. Uh, there were the hunters that hunt, bring the wolf meat to... Yeah, see? I remember stuff. And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna go to Lake Zorovich and try to save Arabelle if she's still there and alive and stuff. And, uh, yeah. You know, you waited a few days and a few hours about it. You're like, we should go to the lake. And it's only like, nah. been, like, a day. <laughs> she's been missing for a while. And you're like, oh, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I mean... What's hey, one more day? Hey, lake kid. <laughs> lake kid. All right. So, back into it. Uh, you are back at the... Uh, stockyard, where you had seen Rictavio's cart gone, uh, and you decide to go to Lake Zorovich. Excuse me. <clears throat> Takes about 40 minutes uh, as you go up, and there's another kind of, like, gate that uh, you go out of, and it's relatively easy to get out of the gate now that they're like, oh, that is Sean. They told us about the, ga uh, the gates in the, uh, the west. He is a burden on their fam on this group, but he's looking for their dog. Oh, this is the dog guy. I am so sorry for your loss. Don't, don't, don't. It's my dog. And they just kind of like, I'm sorry. That, thank you again. Thoughts and prayers, please. Of course, of course. We will pray to uh, Pillar. Uh, as, uh, Meanwhile, I'm all bloodied up still. Like, got bandages all over yeah. me because I only took a short rest. Yeah, uh, yeah. you're all still like <sighs> jacked from. Well, no, just me. I mean, I only have two spell slots, so. You guys are very tired. Um, so it takes about an hour or so uh, to get to Lake Zorovich. Uh, anything you guys are particularly doing for the next hour? Uh, I mean, just looking around, making sure, listening, mm -hmm. in case we're being followed. I'm uh, going to see if there's anything that I can use to uh, try and potentially craft into like poisons and stuff. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a nature check for me. You don't have anything to put them in. We can what? always empty out vials, or I can buy more vials. You just don't have anything to put them in. We have vials. No, they're all filled with holy water. I'll drink it. All right, so Jesus. You can still roll a nature check. You're good. Not you. Yep. I know. Never mind. You back rolling. in dice jail. What are you rolling? <laughs> no. I'm just oh. to back, like, back in dice jail. I'm joking. Is it a one? <laughs> yep. No, that's his dice jail. He oh. won't let me use it. Okay. This is my dice jail. I kind As of, you go. They look the same. You, uh... Honest. That's fine. Banished. As you look around, uh, you, you see some of these, like, red mushrooms, and you're like, those look weird. And you collect them up. Scoop them. Okay. Put them in my, my stuff. All right. Mushrooms. Shrooms. Put mushrooms. Gonna in there. trip balls. <laughs> Anything that, that you're doing in particular? Um, no, I'm just kind of like, just kind of getting loosey goosey. Go ahead, uh, Ruvio and Shart roll perception on Absidy. Six. Nineteen. As Absidy is just kind of doing his weird SpongeBob dance, <laughs> uh, you you notice the light kind of hit this thing that he has attached to his shirt. And it looks like the brooch from Madame Fiona earlier. As he's like, do do do, do do do. Loose and limber, loose and limber. What are you wearing? My new studded armor. 
Not, not, not that. The, the shiny shit. Yeah, my studded armor shiny. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. <sighs> the shiny little crow looking fucking thing. Um, I don't know. At this point, as he's pointing it out, you're looking at it and you see the brooch as well. It just, it kind of attaches to where the hood is and it kind of makes the, the hood into like a full cape hood like thing. Kind of like uh, Lord of the Rings where they have that leaf yeah. fellowship kind of thing. Uh, I look at dirt to kind of like get an idea what he's, because I, I don't want to, I don't want to out him. Yeah. But I don't know if he's. I Rufio would get pissed. Um, I wanted to test myself, and I may or may not have swiped that off of the that of off of Lady Fiona. I wasn't actually sleepy. The the woman that almost killed us. Yes. You, you took a brooch from her. Yes, she almost killed us. Yeah. That sounds like vengeance to me. Please don't be mad. I just. I'm sorry, I was just... This is kid shit. <laughs> he kind of just... He actually looks kind of, like, disappointed as he looks at you and you're like, Really, dude? And he's like, I don't know what I was... I'm, so, I'm sorry, I didn't... She, I don't know what I was thinking. You know what? She's probably not even going to notice it's gone. At least not immediately. Not. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll uh. deal with the fallout later. <sighs> oh, boy. So, uh, yeah, as you, as you guys have this exchange, you kind of go out, uh, and as you're going, there's this kind of like overarching mountain that had been over to where Lake Zorovich was. And as you start getting closer, you start hearing these, uh, water kind of like, uh, flowing. And, uh, as you go at the foot of this mountain and nestled in the misty forest is a very large, fucking massive, large lake. And the water is very perfectly still and it's dark. And it's reflecting the black clouds that are overhead, like a monstrous kind of like mirror. Uh, and as you look uh, and you pull up along the south side of the shore, you see three small rowboats. And you see a fourth boat all the way in the middle of the lake with a lone person sitting in it with a fishing pole. Does anyone know how to do this? It, it's a rowboat, really? Do you know how to do it? Yeah. Okay. It's about um. As you guys are looking, you it, the the person in the boat isn't really like moving much. Occasionally, you just it, see. Are there are there is there anyone else in the vicinity of the? Do we hear anything? Do we? You can roll perception. I would like to do that, but I'm not good at it. Oh, 17. 21. Okay. 18. 18. What the fuck? As you, what'd you get? 17. 17. Okay, as you all are kind of like looking, um, you don't really hear anything. Uh, you hear occasionally like the winding of his fishing pole um, and the gear. And you're just kind of looking at this guy on a boat. So do we call out to him? I mean, last time we told someone about someone else or made someone aware of someone's presence, they ran away. So... You guys can take the lead on this one. Hey, guy! Subtle. subtle. Nice work. Did you hear him? There's no reaction. Um, I look for a rock, <laughs> and I want to skip the rock at him. It's about uh, 400 feet from shore. I want to give the rock to Shart and let him skip the rock at him. You can attempt to. Strength check? <laughs> sure, strength check. I rub his shoulders to say, good luck, buddy. I'm going to start getting in the boat. Getting in one of the boats? Yeah. Sure. Didn't make it. <laughs> so you kind of go like... What was it? I Nine. got it. You throw it and just go... Dunk. Ripple, ripple, ripple. I've never skipped a rock before, so I just kind of... over. Okay, it. so you start like <laughs> unwinding the boat and you get like creaked in and Dirt's like, do you want me to? Do Please. I go? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go. Hey, we're gonna you're, go in, the you're boat. in armor. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. Should Swimming. we? Should we? Should... Who's not in armor? Shart? Not in armor. Me? Are you in armor? He's in like a little bit of armor. Maybe we should stay on the shore and not sink. Yeah, that you're putting yourself in a very risky spot. Can you swim? No, uh, I have swam. Like that doesn't once. feel confident. Maybe we should just sit here. I don't know. I'm gonna go. Okay. All right. So, 
I'm going to stay here? <clears throat> I don't like that we're splitting up again. So there's, I, there's, three boats. there's three I, boats. I was going to say, I guess I'll get in the boat. You, I think you and Dirt get a boat together because you're both little. And then me and Haas. That sounds like a horrible <laughs> idea. The two biggest dudes are going to get in the same boat? No, we get no, a get separate boat. boat. Oh, they I share you, a boat. You, <laughs> They're you, were, you were like doing this thing, and I was like, that sounds awful. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> it takes you a little bit, but uh, eventually you and Dirt get in the same kind of like rickety boat, and Revere, you start paddling. I'm guessing you're going to pat- not even wait for everyone and just start just paddling gonna out. Just gonna okay. Go. Um, and and we're chart you're not I'm, too far behind. I'm fucking hauling ass. Okay. Um, go ahead and are you trying to beat them to the boat? Uh, no, I'm just like having fun with my buddy. Okay. You two roll uh, I don't know. Uh, um, what would be a good thing for both of you? Roll uh, both of you roll percentiles for me. Oh shit. Oh, what? well damn. The 2d10, so we'll see who gets farther first. <laughs> oh, me, oh, so... Uh, where am I at? Where my hose at? It's weird. Yeah, no. I don't know how boat travel works. What'd uh, you got? I got. I don't know how this works. So, so you have to roll. Double number is yeah. your first number, and then the second number. So like. I got it's... eighty and a hundred, or eighty and ten. You got eighty. Yeah. 80. No, you just got eighty. Oh, so that's the other. Yeah, that's the first number, and that's the second yeah. number. Got it. Eighty. Okay. Let's see what Mike gets. Hold on. Uh, I dropped one. <laughs> Uh, 41. 41? Okay. Rufio, you kind of get over and you get there first. And there is a very kind of like, uh, he's a larger gentleman. Um, you know, the only thing I can attest to is like different pop culture references. You ever see Tom and Huck? (coughs) No. No? Mm Mm-mm. He's, um... He's kind of like a heavier set, kind of set gentleman, curly kind of hair, mustache, uh, bald on top. And he's just kind of sitting there. And is he like Michael Clark Duncan big? Is he like... No, he's not like Green Mile big. Okay. He's just like husky. Okay. It's like chubby. John Candy? Yeah. If you if he ate himself to death, like you wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you see in it, a couple of, in the foot of the boat, you, as, you, as you pull up, you see a couple of empty wine bottles, scotch bottles. This guy's fucking trashed. And you see also in there a very, it's a, it's a sack. It's like a hempen sack that's maybe around this long. Is it moving? Roll perception. Oh, fuck. 19. As you look at it, you slowly see the sack rise and fall. As, as you get closer and closer, nothing behind the eyes picks up the sack and puts it over the water. Uh, I jump in. In armor? Yep. Oh, You're, Christ. That's, that's suicide. I was yep. going to say, I, I, I can do that. <laughs> He's not. You're not there yet. <clears throat> He's you. You see as Rufio goes up, he says something to the effect of like, wait, hey. And then you hear a splash, and you just see him just fucking dive into the fucking water. Okay. Um, cool. So, um, I gotta, I gotta, if, I, if it's what I think it is. Yeah, I guess. I really just hope it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I need you to make a athletics check to make sure that you can reach the sack before it hits the bottom of the lake, because it is sinking f- Almost as fast as you are in your fucking armor. Cool. God. 16. 16. As you get down, you, you're able to grab the top of this sack. As you start looking up at the water and it's getting murkier and murkier as you're getting slowly more and more down. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, strength saving throw at disadvantage. Because you're swimming up okay. in armor. Uh, 16. 16. So you're you're slowly thrashing up as you're holding this one sack on your shoulder and it's starting to get hotter. Am I close enough to jump in to try and help? I'd say so. I'm jumping in. Okay, go ahead and jump in. Uh, yeah, it's a strength check. Strength athletics check. check. Uh, athletics, uh, 15. 15, so you go in and the water's pretty murky. 
Mm-hmm. But because you have dark vision, you're able to see Rufio start to... <clears throat> as you start seeing more and more of the bubbles kind of just going out of his mouth, as mm-hmm. slowly you start hearing Rufio um, make a wisdom save at disadvantage. 18. 18. Jesus Christ. As you start... two thirteens. Slowly sinking, you start hearing this, like, bell just tolling. <clears throat> Ding. Ding. as your your lungs start to pop and you're just reaching out you're like the only thing you can think of is your mother as you start to black out and you start seeing this like so go ahead and make another stray athletics check for me see if you can grab him uh 24 so you grab him and you grab the sack and you you almost touch the fucking bottom of this lake and actually, you do. You kind of crouch and down. And jettison myself up. I need you to make a, uh, a strength check for me. Strength? Yeah. Or str- check or save? Let's do... You know what? Let's do a strength save. See if you can jump up. Uh, 25. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, it gets quiet, Absidy. As you endure to, like, dude, I can't believe you got that brooch. I can't believe <laughs> you're just sporting it around. And then you they, you two look over and you see Rufio go, <clears throat> wait, hey, wait a minute jumps in and Turt's like oh my god Rufio can't swim he can't swim and then you see Shark get closer and he fucking dives in and it's just still for at least a good like 30 seconds uh let's get closer I think they're dead they're not dead send them a message they're dead what am I gonna send hey you guys dead like what are we gonna (laughs) as you two are arguing like fucking free willy you see Shark just jet up and you see him Rufio on one shoulder and he has this burlap sack on the other shoulder and he just pops up and then cannonballs back in and eventually he comes surfaces back up and he's just kind of like wading in the water like this like and he has his map like his head is like barely above like the break of the water Uh, I row shit 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 shit. so you and Dirk kind of just like paddle over and shark you put Rufio and the sack onto the boat with dirt and uh, Absidy and it kind of like it rocks a little bit but it looks like it's holding all four of them and what are you doing? Get them to land Uh okay is, is uh, Rufio breathing? Um it's a great question <laughs> uh <coughs> no ah uh, shit um potion's not gonna do anything right fuck and uh Ab- dirt kind of goes over to him positions and let's see if he does a good medicine check or not wow dirt was like you <laughs> let's see <clears throat> basically he's able to give you mouth to mouth reposition gives you and starts doing compressions on your armor he rips off the chest plate and after about maybe two or three attempts <coughs> water kind of spills out of your mouth first thing what's in the sack <laughs> what's in the box <laughs> Um, as uh, you open the sack, uh, we we will uh, we will get to you in just one moment. Okay, because I know where you're going. <laughs> um, as you open, you see a very tiny, um, white skin, uh, raven black hair, very very tiny, about eleven year old girl. Is she alive? You kind of put your finger to and it seems like she has a pulse but it seems similar where she's not I'm gonna pump 20 lay on hands in her she's not breathing yeah it doesn't help she's not breathing she's not breathing but you feel the pulse but it feels like it's she might have swallowed too much water got it uh 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 dirt do the same thing I'm gonna (laughs) cast bless uh and wait that's a saving throw right that's that helps with saves oh that's not gonna be a save for me I don't, do you have have I don't have that. Okay, so Dirt's like, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna do my best. It's do all it you, buddy. I'm gonna help him. Okay, so I'll roll at advantage then. So you guys do medicine checks basically, and he's gonna roll at advantage. Okay, and you see him, and he kind of he does the reposition, and he hesitates for a second, and then he, he is able to compress. And after a few moments, <coughs> you see this water just kind of spit up. As this happens, like you hear Rufio go, "What's what's in the the sack?" And as you're swimming over to the boat with this person yeah. on it, you hear a very faint 
child cough as it coughs up this water. Okay, so I'm just going. hearing them. You're hearing them. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm and still you just here. Yeah, and as you go up, you just see this person in this boat shell. Nothing going on behind the eyes. Oh, I also forgot to mention the she's tied up. I'll, I'll take the da- dagger out and start uncutting okay. her binds. Uh, I'd like to jump up and slap the guy across the face and say, Hey, buddy! <laughs> uh. Ow. Want to explain to me why the fuck you're just throwing a kid in the water? What? You literally just threw a kid in a bag into the lake. Now you either give me an answer as to why the fuck you did something like that, or I'm going to cut your head off. It's, How far away am I from this? Yeah. You're not too far. I it's want to a, throw a about, javelin. It's like here, like here is the boat where Shart's at. Maybe you guys are about here. I want to throw a javelin. Where you, what do you, at him. At who? At the guy. <sighs> hey, okay. hey, guys, something seemed off about him. Go ahead and roll uh, an attack. Uh, 18. Okay. Um, you can roll a perception to see if you hear it or see it. You doing anything while he pull it, picks up a javelin and throws it? Trying to stop him. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, athletics. See if you can stop him. Good perception? Perception. Ugh. 14. It's the worst I've done in a while on perception. Nine. Nine. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, another athletics check to see if you can beat 14. And Dirt's going to do the same thing. Plus Nine. I did not beat it. Okay. And Dirt also. So as you, like, lean back, Dirt and Absidy are, like, grabbing onto the... What are you doing? He's he something was off about him. Yeah, he threw a kid into the lake. He why, deserves to go. But he why would he die. do that? Because he's a crazy person. So he's still fishing. Uh, yeah, he insane people do insane things. He didn't even react to us being here. Insane people do insane things. Well, let's find out more because he's clearly not attacking Shart. Well, would you attack Shart? I mean, if I'm willing to kill a kid. If you're willing to kill a kid, you're not going to be willing to kill a <clears throat> giant half orc man. I'm saying yes, I would. Insane people do insane things. As you guys are barking, (laughs) bickering with each other, Shark, you're back in the boat with this man. He's like, "Hey, you're talking so loud." Yeah, well, uh, I don't really have much of a choice because when I came up, you didn't even fucking react to us at all because your whiskey puking ass doesn't know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, You slapped me in the face. That hurt. Want me to do it again? Please don't. Then give me fucking answers. Are his, are his eyes still, like, dead? You can roll perception or to see, or investigation. Yeah, that's kinked. Uh, investigation? Yeah. yeah, that's not good. I'll give you advantage, because you, you have you experience with <laughs> that, and you have experience with, you know, being with wolves, and they're mostly... Still not good. His eyes, what was it? they're... <coughs> Seven was my best. <coughs> His eyes are distant. They kind of, like, focus in and out. He just, he looks fucking tanked at this point. And he just goes, no, the... I haven't caught fish in week. And Vistani, they are lucky. I uh, found a little girl, and I keep for a little... I I want to throw into the river. I'm going to go ahead and take his head and dunk it into the water real quick. Okay. (laughs) What is that for? Because why are you taking that kid, and why the fuck would you put her in the river? Uh, Lake to lake. Whatever. Lake. He said river. river. He's drunk. (laughs) And he goes, I don't... I don't... What? Doing it again. (laughs) Do you want to live? Because if you want to live, you answer my questions. Roll intimidation at advantage. 17? He kind of looks at you and he, he has this dumb look in his eye and he just goes, I thought, I'm, I thought she was, I thought she was lucky. I wouldn't, 
I didn't... Did I throw her into the lake? Yeah, you did. Why would you think that she's lucky? She's Vistoni. Vistoni are lucky. Are they oh. hearing any of this? You can you can hear like you hear Shark yelling <laughs> at him, and you see him pulling him back up, and he just looks like this drunk idiot. And then at the about the second time, it just looks like he's a blubbering mess of just confusion. You can't really hear what's going on, but you hear Shark kind of like talking to him. <laughs> but but, but uh, we can tell that the guy's pretty non-responsive. Shark, let's let him sober up. You can intimidate him later. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to let him sober up, but before I do that, I want to pick him up and throw him into the lake. Okay. Go ahead, roll a strength check for me. Damn it. 11. I mean, it's not too hard to shark. <laughs> he kind of picks him, th- him up and looks at the lake and goes, well, sing or swim. <laughs> Thought it was good enough for a girl. It's good enough for you, bitch. And it takes a little bit, but he starts slowly kicking and... <coughs> what are you guys doing while this guy's thrashing in the lake? I'm just going to do a sick-ass jackknife dive and <laughs> head over to them. Okay. So a shark jumps out of the boat. Starts swimming over. Are all the boats next to each other? Relatively <coughs> around the same area. Okay. Then I hop into a second boat and I... I Derek, come with me. But I just okay, and then we go to get him, put him in the boat, and take him to shore with everyone else. I'm I'm taking the boat with the little girl, and I'm going back to shore immediately. Okay, where are you going? I'm heading towards them. Okay, so as you start heading towards them, like Dirt and Absidy start doing like a weird, they're switching boats, and Rufio's starting to like frustrate, muttering under his breath as he's getting the oars back. And at this point, you see this very young like 11 year old girl just kind of sit up and she's just kind of like in these damp clothes she's just kind of holding herself as she's shivering from you know the harshness of the wind and her sitting soaking wet in this boat um you and dirt start going over to the thrashing gentleman i need both of you to roll uh strength checks to see if you can pull him in (laughs) he's thrashing 10 Oh, that was good for you. I know, and that was a negative one. <laughs> he rolled 11. Oh, no! <laughs> but together... <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Hold on, I gotta pull up dirt again. For some reason, it, it kicked me out. Um, He's a strong young man. He's something. He's da- a dashing young lad. What did I say, strength? Yeah. Okay, so with, like, dirt's... Dirt's pretty strong for a 12-year-old. <laughs> He, both of you are able to kind of hoist up and it takes a little bit and he has his like heels on the edge of the boat and both of you are just like Ugh! and you're able to get half of him on as this guy sputters and you pull the other half in and he's just like <coughs> and then I I give him a little a little slap on the face because I don't like him uh, ow <laughs> you're going to tell us what's going on but first and I I, t- I use my last cloak and I tie up yeah. Him in, in a very uncomfortable position okay. on his back. Like the back of a Volkswagen? Um, that was what? a reference for me. <laughs> so he just kind of, you tie him back and he's like on his stomach, kind of like a, kinda like a pig. <laughs> gross, like he's ready to die, apparently. He's just kind of like... <clears throat> and he's just kind of coughing up in the, in the boat. And slowly but surely, all of you get to shore. I, just, uh, I, I, I want to have uh, <clears throat> built a fire and have her, or at least start making a fire and have okay. her sit close to it. So you start putting the wood together and you don't you don't have any, like, flint on you and you're like, oh, fuck, have, shit, yeah, fuck. It's, it's Damn. not helping right now. And then, while, you're, while you're doing this, Shark, you're, you kind of come up and you're like, whatever Shark does. You guys are the first seeing each other. Well, what are we? What are you trying? Are you trying to build a fire? Yeah, she's uh, she's shaking pretty bad. Two seconds. I just kind of like pull out my. I'm trying to remember exactly what it's called. Uh, Tinder. Yeah, my Tinder box. Might be wet. Swipe right, bro. Swipe right. <laughs> Is, you, is that you, how it works? It's, he's it's, making a joke about the app Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you open it, it's it's pretty waterlogged at the moment. Uh, um, Dirt. Then I'm gonna do the old what? fashioned stick thing. <laughs> okay, roll a nature check at disadvantage. I'm pretty sure you've never done the stick thing before. 
You've seen Boy Scouts do it. Uh, hold on. What's my... Your nature should be good. Oh, survival. Do survival. <coughs> Survival's oh, pretty high. That's right. <laughs> 19. 19? <laughs> so you, you start doing it, Gross. and things start smoking. It starts sparking a little bit, and you have, like, a little... It starts to pop in a little bit as a, a small fire starts forming. And you're just tending to this thing as slowly Absidy and Dirt pull up to shore, and uh, Dirt kind of jumps out, and he starts pulling the boat in. You could do the stick thing. <laughs> Whoa, uh, so we, we caught the guy. Great, I'm going to walk up to him and punch him in the face. And he's like, huh? I'm fine with this. <laughs> the javelin wouldn't have killed him. It would have hurt him real bad. Hold on, hold on. You tried to throw a javelin at him? Yeah. I would have I would have hit him. I would have hit him. I yeah. firmly believe <clears throat> no, no, I would have hit him. I'm not doubting you on that, but you got to stop trying to kill people before we get information from them. <laughs> yeah, the three this of you are yelling at time. each other as Dirt's like. It's a good point. It's a it's a valid point. <laughs> and you see, you just hear this giant like, <laughs> as this beacon of just fire just kind of happens, and you see his hands covered in soot. The fire went out, so I. Well, if fixed no, it, if, and he puts his hand through his hair. Nobody knew we were here. Giant soot mark on his forehead. <laughs> if nobody knew we were here, they definitely do now. Uh, I, I just go up to him and I just. <laughs> When you get soot on your hands, don't wipe your face. You look like a ragamuffin. <laughs> My mom uses ragamuffin. And I, so, I made that reference for you. <laughs> thank you. So he kind of just, he's like, yeah, no, that's that's cool. And he looks back over at the girl and he's like, yeah, no, that's cool, whatever. I'm going to go over to her after I punch that guy in the face. And I'm going to like <laughs> crouch down and get on her level. Are you Are you okay? Did he hurt you? What's the last thing you remember? I just... I want to go home. We're going to take you home. Your dad is... Oh, uh, that's right. Before that. Luvash. What is it? What? Luvash. Yes. And you have an uncle as well, right? And his name is... Also, somewhere in my notes. Please don't put me back in the bag. I just no, no, no. We're not gonna put. We're we're not gonna put you back in the bag. We're gonna take you home to to go see your dad. I'm so cold. I is there? I don't have any. I'm drenched. <clears throat> no, this you're moment, fucking right? soaked, and you're so uncomfortable. Um, and because you didn't sleep, I'm gonna give you one level point of exhaustion. So go to your conditions. It's under your. Yeah. On the top and give yourself exhaustion. So you have disadvantage on any kind of like checks or attacks because you're tired. Yeah. Where Where is condition? So it's, when you go up to the top, it yeah, should be up. under defenses. <coughs> this is conditions. Uh, was, so yeah. wait, one level of exhaustion gives you that. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, okay. one level. What is more levels of exhaustion? Oh, you start doing things terribly, like worse than disadvantage. And then when you get to six, you die. I assume Damn. that. <coughs> Um, Damn. Are we all one level? I'll just say I haven't slept. The water and you're yeah. having the fucking armor on and just if I if I take my armor off uh, and I like like body warmth would it would it help her at all? Possible. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and try and, and warm her up. It's like just put her in the fire. Just maybe <laughs> don't. Maybe you should just focus on getting you warm and he kind of takes off his like cloak and he puts it around her and he goes maybe that didn't want to make anybody else uncomfortable I think you taking your clothes off and hugging a child would make me uncomfortable it's not <laughs> taking my clothes off it's taking my armor off you still you got underclothes though you got under armor yeah your little sweater yes my sweater you do I have a waterlogged sweater with the R on it it's real long <laughs> very long it's, like, it's fuck. super soggy uh yeah, we're gonna. Are, are you Arabelle? Is that that's? Yeah, we we spoke to your father, and we're gonna we're gonna bring you back. Go ahead and all of you roll perceptions for me. Yeah. Eleven. I don't want to grab it. What'd you get? Not twenty. Woo! Uh, let's see. Let's see what let's you got. See. Uh, twenty. Modded twenty. But Modded 20? 20? I got, okay. Well, I got nat 20, so... Okay, well, as, I understand that. Suck his dick. As both of you are kind of, like, looking at her and the way she talks and her mannerisms, both of you seem, like, this very familiar. Like, you've met someone like this before. With your natural 20, 
Mind you of someone that you met a while ago that maybe told your fates before. What? The the card? She has very similar manner mannerisms as you look at her, her the way he, she darts her eyes, the way her hair is, how dark it is. Even under all this black, like it's just raven black. But it's that the the woman who the tarot card is that who you're? I don't remember her name. Madam Eva. Uh, Rufio. Yeah. Does does she look like Madam Eva? Would I now? You can you can roll perception to see she or does. investigation. I'm so bad. Investigation is worse than perception. Roll investigation. Great. I'm super <laughs> excited. Three. Uh, she definitely. She's not old. She definitely looks familiar. Um, she, she smells familiar too. What's what? Can you not smell me, please? I'm, st I'm sorry. You just it's, it's reminding get, me of stuff. It's, you get used to it's, it. It's how I it's, it's how I it's how I work. I'm sorry. You get used to it. He's not that bad. He smells a little bit, but. I'm gonna warm up over here now. That's, and she that, kind of like fine. goes across the other end of the fire, and she goes, "I'd like to go home soon." Once you get warm, we'll take you home. Okay. We don't want you to get sick. Hypothermia or whatever that thing is. <laughs> she kind of puts her rests her chin on her knees as she's both like she's just watching all of you because, despite you guys saving her, you're still fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll I'll. Sit on the other side of the fire, and I'll start to pray. Okay. Shart. Yeah. What do you remember? Is dirt? Is dirt here too? Yeah, dirt's around. What? What do you guys remember about Madame Eva? Because it, it, she feels like very similar, but she's not. I mean, she's eleven. Well, yeah. I just kind of remember that. I mean, obviously, when she told fortunes and what was coming to us. She kind of just reminded me of the fact that we were, uh, you know, the, the, what was it? The kid was the key or something like that. I don't remember exactly but what it was. Did she mention doing this before or was that only gray? Yeah, and her eyes are super emeraldy. What? Oh, dirt. What? What? I don't care. Are your pants getting tight? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> and I'm the creeper. <laughs> Yeah, but Dirt's 12. He's 12. <laughs> he just said it to a kid. That's the pervy thing, not the other stuff. Uh, I'm He's asking... getting super defensive, which is great. <laughs> and your hair smells like fucking his... cinnamon. Wait, okay. I'm asking if, if he's falling in love with a lady. But real quick, outside of... did Is that something that Madame Eva had said? What? That she had gone through this multiple times, or was that only Grey? That was only Grey. Grey okay. said that, yeah. He's gone through. He's gone through the fucking ringer so many times. But she okay. said she brought us here for a reason. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, she's like, I chose you guys for a reason. And maybe this is her? That was Meta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm praying. Yeah, no, that was just for, for <laughs> clarity. <laughs> Same. Oh, wait, see me so, so. Um... um I mean, she said that she brought us here for a reason. Maybe, Could this be her daughter? Maybe, yeah, her kid? Hey, kid. She goes, yes. Um, I, we, we met your father and your uncle already. Who's your mom? Mother died a while ago. How about your grandma? Don't have a grandma. You sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you have a grandma? I literally could never tell you. So then we are in the same boat. Yeah. Okay. Are you saying you're my grandma? Because I don't see the resemblance. <laughs> Me either. I like this kid. And Dirt's like... <laughs> <laughs> Our kid thinks you're cute. <laughs> and she kind of like looks over at Dirt and Dirt's like... <laughs> red cheeks. Red cheeks. Both have red oh, cheeks. Oh, does she have crazy eyes? Is she that why? Because that's one of the notes I have in here. Madam Eva, crazy eyes. <laughs> Same colored eyes. Oh. And the way she darts is a little Madam Eva-y. She doesn't have, like, full, like, I'll cut you eyes. Yeah. Like Madam Eva did. Um, I guess I'll take a short rest while I'm praying as well, if I can okay, do that. So it takes about, like, 
You're going to take about an hour to kind of rest up. So yeah. go ahead. You can roll hit dice and whatnot. Oh, is that? <coughs> I don't. I don't have any damage. So. No. So it doesn't get rid of his exhaustion. No long rest. Yeah. So I'm just going to take long a short rest. rest baby. To, I'm going to take a short rest just to like chill. Are bit. we all doing short rests? Or that's that's a huge I mean, I, I I short rested already. I only have one die left for my short rest. So dirt's kind of like standing next to you, sitting next to you guys, and keeps looking up and looking. <laughs> Dirt, what? What's not, up? Not she, nothing. It's just you know, I didn't, I didn't realize there'd be like, like, pretty like girls around or whatever. I think I assumed everyone was like gross and haggard and like <laughs> old, and you guys would be fighting over them. Uh, that's what you guys ouch. do. I like no offense, like no offense. I'm sure <laughs> I when I, way. <laughs> I'm sure when I'm like old, like when I'm like 21, I'll probably do that too. Yeah, once you're 21, you're basically dead. So. Yeah, I'm basically like your <laughs> grandfather. Thanks, guys. 27. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just at a loss uh, here. I guess I'll, I'm not going to pray for the full hour because that wouldn't be smart. <clears throat> okay, so you, you briefly I'll pray and yeah. you okay. feel the, mm, and you go when you sit next to everyone. There's like, it's like segregated. Like, there's a dude passed out. You guys, other side of the fire. She's just kind of like. Are you, you, you ready to go? I guess. Yes, I think I think so. Do you know who that guy is? Did mm-hmm. he? Did, <clears throat> how did he get you in a bag? I was um, swimming, and um, I felt something hit my head, and then next thing I knew, it was dark and cold. Man, it's been like that for a while. And you, when you came to, you were just kind of in a bag. I could see a little bit outside, but <clears throat> didn't know where I was. I could hear the birds. Why did you run from home? I am destined for greatness. You're <clears throat> destined for greatness? Mm-hmm. Oh, who said that? No one says that. Gods come to people all the times in dreams, and... I think my dreams, they show me I do great things. What what god came to you? No god. I just, I don't think it's far-fetched. You, you are a uh, holy knight, yes? I, I assume you all pray to some kind of god? Yes. <laughs> uh, Dirt's like... And uh, she goes, well, I, I have For dreams. For the love of god, drink something. I have <clears throat> I have dreams, and I, I just know I'm, I have a great destiny, and it was not at the bottom of a lake. What are the dreams? Different things. Um, I've never seen the sun, but I, I imagine what it looks like all the time, and um, I, I see myself as a great guide for adventurers and. I don't know Well, to explain. Crazy ram- random happenstance. We are adventurers. Where can you guide us? Home. To my home, please. Fine. You said you were a great guide. There's only one place. It's not that great. Dude, you're fucking it up for me. <laughs> oh, also, dirt's like super cool or whatever. What? It's whatever. Absidy, why would you say that? Yeah, like, wasn't prompted. No, it wasn't. No, it's up. He's got fire hands. And he likes steal stuff for his friends or whatever. And she goes, it's very impressive. You should see what he can do to a hole in the wall. What? And Dirt also goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time you tried to... No, I got that- it. And uh, getting up now. And Dirt kind of gets up and he starts like... We should go now. Let's go to your, your father. <laughs> and so do you pick up... Drag him. Please very, drag him. <laughs> the very large gentleman. <sighs> Should I drag him? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, roll a starting check. Roll for drag. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> What'd you get? An eight. Ooh. Mm. You, he is a lot heavier than you. Is he waterlogged? Sure. <laughs> it Ew. takes him a while, but you kind of grit your teeth and very slowly, like a snail... 
You're just dragging about how him far by is the tummy. is the camp from? Uh, that's what I'm pulling up. It is. You can either go through the town and through the town square, or you can go on the other side around because it's the Vistani camp. Yeah, which is faster? Probably outside of town while you go through the. Let's do it. So it takes you about a couple of hours, like. I would say maybe about an hour and a half before you slowly get up to, you see the mound hill with the different uh, dark elf townships on it. And then on the top, you see that tent. Do we see Esmeralda's cart? You can look for it. It, it was more deep into the... Yeah, it wasn't oh, I thought wasn't it was right openly visible. It. Okay. it was no. a little bit off. Yeah, okay. she doesn't converse with them very often. I, I just wanted to cross our T's. Don't um, yeah, I was going to get there eventually. Um, yeah, we'll bring her into the little area. Okay. And as you do, um, doesn't take too long and you see that poor kid. He is the one that was getting whipped was, is just, he's on the post still, but there aren't any fresh cuts on him. And it looks like, uh, he kept his word as best as he could. And you just see rocking back and forth. You see the whip in hand. I'll uh, I'll go up and start cutting him out and cutting him off the post. <laughs> as he as you do, he just looks fucking past you as he immediately just scoops up his daughter and he starts speaking in Vistani or yeah Vistani and he's crying and holding her and she's crying into his chest as he goes thank you thank oh, thank you thank you for for saving her. Do you know this fucking guy? That is the man. But let's... Do you know him? <clears throat> no. But cool. this is... He looks over at Arabella and he goes, Is this... He says something in Vistani. She looks at him and she goes... Kind of just nods his head. He goes, Okay. Softly puts her down. He goes over into the back into a chest and he has a sack and he throws it at your feet and out spills some coin silver. And he goes, I thank you for that. And I thank you for this. You can go now. Uh, what about those potions we talked about? Oh, sure. The potions. Uh, of course. Do they work? Can I? Can I? I'm gonna do. Do they? I mean, they I work? haven't. I don't need them. So, but that is that is more uh, Aragal, um, which is his brother. Yeah. He should be back uh, later this <laughs> afternoon. Obviously, we did not know you would be back ever. I'll get them to you. Where are you? Where are you staying at? The Blue Water Inn. In time, inside the town. Yeah. Yeah. Not really welcome there. Um. We'll we'll come back. We we need to be back in this area anyway. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Of course. This uh this man is ours, by the way. What's that? Th this man, he's ours. This man. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take custody of this guy. That's that is odd. Yeah, why? <clears throat> I want to find out why he did what he did. Yeah, okay. I'm with you. <clears throat> got, got questions. Oh, we will not. <laughs> He's not ours because we like him. He's ours because we want to find out why he did what he did. You give me a few moments with him. You come back for your potion. He will be very wide awake. And untouched. I make no promises, but, but he will be awake. Breathing and awake? Yes. Okay. Uh, Boulder Parchment Shears for it? No. Then you can't have him. I'm sorry, then you cannot have potion. This what if... Man. What if... Hear me out, guys. <coughs> let's all interrogate him together. <laughs> sure. I will. You can come back in a few hours and we will wake him up together. Oh, he's okay. asleep? Yeah, he's, he's knocked still out. knocked out. I knocked him out. Oh, okay. Well, I kick him in the ribs, and then <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right, man. Whip it real good. <laughs> Four of you go. As you hear muttering in Vistani, you hear this dragging, and you hear this crinkling of rope as it gets taut. And is the kid okay? Did he, like, come off the pole all right? Is he... Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. just kind of, like, shaken up, and you hear muttering, and, you know. Yeah, it looks like he's comforting him, but still very stern. Yeah. And he goes, 
we have the men. And this kid leaves, goes to his, his house, and where are we going next, boys? See if Esmeralda's cart's there. Okay. What time is it? It's, uh, I would say it's about, it took you an hour to dry up, and then another, like, hour and a half to get there, so you got there at what? Ten. Ten? So it's about noon, one. Okay. Okay. So you go, and her cart's gone. You can roll perceptions for me. <laughs> Eleven. Fourteen. Four. God, you know what? Actually, uh, Shark, can you do a nature check for me? Nature? Correct. Nature. It's surprisingly, my nature is shit. Uh, seven. <laughs> my survival's good. My nature's shit. Uh, Meta, do you want cough drops? Uh, if you have some, yeah. I'll yeah, I do. Okay. You guys don't see anything? Do I I see a trace of, like, anywhere she went? She could have gone. You can roll a survival. See? Of course, the one that I'm good at, he gets to roll. Uh, modded 20. You kind of look at, uh, different kind of tracks. They're kind of all over the wheelbarrow tracks. And, um, you do see, like, her footprints. You see the foot, and you see that she makes a deeper indent with the prosthetic. And it looks like um, there's a particular spot that she would go to, come back, go to, and it's just to the side. Kind of like she was pacing. She was not like pacing, but maybe pacing. Is it just Rufio who saw that? At the moment, he can share it if you'd like. Yeah. Uh, do you guys see where the? She, like, was walking back and forth. Yeah. Where... Where does that lead? It just kind of goes back and forth, and... It looks like it's this big... Kind of, like... You see this rock? That's just particularly there. It looks like it was left there. And it's, um... What chapter am I on? Sorry. I'm kind of multitasking. You're good. You're good. Um... As you're looking at it, it just, it looks slightly out of place, slightly in place. Yeah, I want to go up to it. Okay. Roll a Arcana check for me as you look up, look at it. Oh, shit. 16. Okay. Um, as you're looking at it, it just, it looks like it's giving off a little bit of, like, magic. Put my hand on it. Okay. Probably should have let you check for tra- traps, but... I, I was thinking that, yeah. too. Uh, I don't care. Nah. Did we all walk, or is it just you? I mean, nobody else said they, they walked. I walked, too. And they ran. They ran. And so far... Okay, away. as you put your hand to it, all of a sudden, Esmeralda's voice immediately goes into your head. And goes, Stupid adventurer boys who are looking for me. Obviously, I'm not here right now, but if you are smart and clever as you think you are, you'll find my message, Rock. It looks like uh, Ricravio or Rudolf ran. Most likely, he went to the west to his tower. It's by Lake Bar- Baratoa. We look at it. And this is only in his ear. It's only in his head. Baratok. If you truly want to help me, you want to find this man, you meet me there. We confront him together, but I'm going to keep an eye on him. I cannot stay as he leaves. So, you truly want to help? You want to befriend ally? You meet me at Lake Baratok. Big fucking tower. Can't miss it. Even the stupid green one can't miss it. And you see this as he's holding it. You don't hear anything, but he's like reacting. And then it just, you hear a pop and the rock doesn't, doesn't glow anymore. What? It was a, it was a rock. It's not. No, that what? was, that was really cool. Uh, she went to go find Rudolph, obviously. We, we 
piece that together pretty quickly. Yeah. But she's at... They're, they're going to Lake Baratok. Do we... We have no idea where that could even be. West, she said. So, I mean... She said that if we wanted to, to help, and we wanted to befriend and make her an ally, we would follow her to Lake Baratok. Well, I mean, clearly... She kicks ass, so... We're gonna need her. Yeah. Especially if... Fiona is the fight that we experienced before. We're gonna need all the help we can get. But we get her now. I don't know about now. She said she was going to watch him, so I don't think she's gonna make a move immediately. Probably not. We could probably put a pin into that, right? For a little bit. I don't know how long we can wait. Yeah. She seems like a kind of impatient individual. Yeah. I don't think we have much of a choice, though. That festival's coming up, and we might have a meeting with... We with can't the, do it today. Bara, bara, bara. M- maybe there's something for us at the at the inn? Yeah, I I think that's our next Let's do a play. West Wing I walk need... and talk. <laughs> so, Let's walk and talk. End. You guys start doing a walk and talk, so as you're talking and walking, anything you guys are talking about in particular? She's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I know, and her eyes are like... Whew. And the way she's like adopted. <laughs> and Are we talking about wolf. <laughs> <laughs> how we... she got like twelve nipples? <laughs> it's eight. <laughs> Are we talking about? I feel like we're not talking about the same. I'm not, Irina, I'm not even Arabo, anything. right? Es- Esmeralda. Uh, wolf. It's is fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What? Sean? <laughs> Any wolf ever? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, she's great. We have to go to Lake Bartok at some point. We need to... I need to rest, guys. I'm going a little... I'm, I'm fading slightly. <clears throat> Let's get back to the inn. See if we've heard anything from Ernst. And... <laughs> hopefully you can sleep soon. Yeah, that would be nice. I'm... I'm fading quite a bit. Okay. So, uh, as you go, you go back to the Blue Water Inn. It takes you about another hour. It's about 1 p.m. And uh, as you come in, Owen goes, oh, that the creepy man that didn't talk much earlier from this morning uh, brought this for you. Great. And I'll open it up. And it says... Read it out loud. Basically, it says something to the effect of, um, I've been able to arrange a meeting about two with the Burgermaster. I don't suspect it's going to be a very long conversation. He's going to meet you in the town square. Uh, He's getting preparations ready for the festival, so his time is very slim. We got our meeting, gentlemen. Two o'clock. Which is like now. In an hour. If you start walking now, you can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we gotta go. What was the the wife's (laughs) name? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Dinka. I, I think Dar- Darinka? Uh, uh, Danika. Danika? Danika. Hey, Danika. Yes. Do you have any more coffee? I, th- I think I can make something real quick. Uh, for one moment. Uh, Thank you. As she comes back and is for everyone. No. Um, I'm good, but this guy's fading. Ooh, okay. Been a while since I slept. It looks like it. But you're so handsome. And Thanks, um, Danica. she kind of leaves and comes back with this big, tall glass. And as you drink it, you feel pretty good. You feel better. You can take your exhaustion off. Yay. Yep. Good call, Josh. Thanks. Yeah. That's I how I go through life. <laughs> coffee and just... Huh? <laughs> pretty girls. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Gotta pull him Is it a to go mug? <laughs> you just kind of throw it. Pound it. I'm just gonna pound it. Go another. Um, <laughs> okay. So uh, takes about forty minutes, forty five minutes, and you see Isaac walking around. And now you haven't seen him since you know you first got like the second time you got there. And you're it's just really driving home. Like, dude, this guy looks like Irina. Like he looks so similar to her, and he just. Cruel, he's barking orders at people as they're putting up tents and, you know, making sure signs are looking right. And in the middle, you see uh, very long hair, 
it's kind of thinning on top, but it kind of curls out and comes out and all red robes. And you see him kind of directing traffic and he goes, don't worry, all will be well. Bringing everything up, rise that a little bit higher. We want as much sunlight as we possibly can. Uh, and you, uh, as you approach, is it kind of goes, can I help you? You know us, remember? We're, oh. we're, we're friends? Unfortunately. How can I help? We have a, a meeting with the Burgermaster. Lady Fiona Watcher sent us. You have... You have a meeting with the Baron. Yeah. Let uh, let me see some credentials. Let me see. Do you have uh, notes? Uh, uh, yeah. We here, here. Here you go. Kind of looks it over. Gives it back to you. One moment. And you see him walk over to this very you know, chill little man. He kind of like looks over and he goes. Yes, yes, yes. And this man approaches you. And as you're looking, like, as people are putting things up, you kind of see what you would have guessed would be his wife, black hair. and Can I, way. while Isaac is over there, yeah. can I use my last divine sense? Sure. What are you trying to... I'm trying to look at Isaac and see. And that is, uh, until the end of your next turn, mm -hmm. you sense anything that is affected by a hollow spell known the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. You get a slight fiend uh, blip off of Isaac. Off the general direction. Mm. Just in general. Okay. And uh, this, as you guess, is kind of his wife, and she's kind of spectating, and you see these very big, very rideable dogs. <laughs> like these hounds, like. <coughs> and he goes, all right, all right. Hello. Yes, adventurers, welcome. Before we to walk Wallachie. up to him, yes. and if we, are we going to cross paths with Isaac again? Are we going to, like... Possibly. I'm going to try and, like, pat him on the shoulders like a thank you. But mm -hmm. the arm that's not, that we know is, like, fucking weird. I'm going to be like, thanks, buddy. As you do, you kind of get, like, a hot... And you hear, like, a... He goes, ugh. Shocked me. Sorry, it's Don't the armor. Don't touch me. It's, it's the armor. I, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Touch me again. You lose that arm. You understand? Barely. Don't worry. You will. Okay. Watch yourself. Love you. He starts barking orders again. Hello. <coughs> I am uh, Baron Valakovich. Welcome to Valaki. Uh, I'm go I'm going to straight up bow. Like a uh, full out. Just... Oh my goodness! Uh, it, what an honor to, it is to finally to finally meet you. We've heard such great things about you, Baron. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you. You are here for the festival, no doubt. We've heard nothing but wonderful things about the festival. I the, also I, bow. I, I just want to throw that. I curtsy. Charm. What? I <laughs> loincloth. <laughs> he sees a little bit of brain. <laughs> I absolutely admired the the wolf head upon entering, and just I'm so upset that we missed it. Barely, oh, we just barely missed it. You, you flatter me. Oh, I what you? Please, it is it is no 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 problem at all. Uh, you you are staying for the festival, yes? Oh, absolutely. We wouldn't miss it for anything. You are uh, you are adventurers, no? Here to. Uh, here to what? Vanquish the Strahd? Oh, you could say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is strong. You and, he's, and he goes up to Shart and he kind of like checks the muscles. Very strong. Nimble. Very strong. Baby I'm a barbarian. <clears throat> and very strong squire here. He's like, why is he touching my head? Uh, you are... You flatter me. I... Please, uh, if I may, your names, please, please. Uh, Thomas Payne. Thomas, please, a pleasure, a pleasure. Very nice to meet you. Sean. Sean, Sean. Uh, did I say, did I say Eric or XYZ? Do you remember? I think Eric. To, I don't remember. I don't know. To Isaac. I think you said XYZ. I'm XYZ. Oh, pleasure, pleasure. And, and you are, and he goes, Dirk kind of goes, uh, Val. And he goes, Val, uh, 
last name is like Kilmer. <laughs> Your name is Val Kilmer. Yeah. People call me Iceman. And he goes, Because he's so cool. <laughs> and Sean backs him up and goes, Because he's so cool. And he goes, Iceman, I like it. I like it. They, they like it very much. You I like it more every time I hear it. It's almost like this is the first time. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, you have such chemistry. Uh, he kind of like looks and he looks over at his wife and they kind of have like a un, like wordless exchange and she's kind of like and he kind of looks back at you guys and goes and it just it's like they're talking and he goes well it is not very often that we get adventurers that are going to face Strahd and fight the great fight I would be honored and you would honor me if you would be my guests of honor tomorrow at the festival. Great. That sounds just delightful. Yes. It is wonderful. Do I need pants? You can wear whatever you would like. Nice. We, this is a celebration, <clears throat> and it is a, once again, another ongoing effort to keep straw away from my fair city. He has not a stepped foot once here. Every single time there's a festival, I think it drives him farther and farther away into that big gothic sad kid castle. Oh man, it, the further he gets away from us, the farther we'll have to travel to smite him. That is right, but first we celebrate, we will be hoisting up everything, and I will have places for you to sit, of course, in the middle of the court. Oh, and great. we will enjoy the All festivities. Of the attention. Of course, yeah. you are honored guests. You are here to vanquish. I uh, just a quick, quick by the by. Um, sure. <clears throat> being that we're we're just getting off to such a swimming start, I've heard just rumor of of some some insubordination. People people talking negatively about the festival. Who? Uh, just just passerbys. I you don't have a like face. His, key, his jaw clenches. Oh, don't worry. We speak only praise. We hear it and we, we scream from the mountains. You know, how wonderful and how excited we are for this. So, I, we generate a bunch of positive praise always. Mm. What happens to those that, that, don't, that don't feel the same way we do? Just between, between two fine adventuring men. Oh. Oh. You flatter me again. Uh, what do we normally do? We hang them in the galley. Um, and he kind of points at the stocks, and there are some people in there, horse masks. We shame them publicly. And if they are sorry, we let them out after about a week or so. Till the next festival, of course. Of course. And uh, if they're not sorry? Well, you have seen Isaac. He has quite the temper, that one. Not this bad, I will admit. I have broken a few things in my day. Oh, you you never. <clears throat> no, I when I was younger, oh, the fires oh, that burned within me. I can relate. No, but Isaac really does take care of it. Sometimes, you know, they do not come back. You saw the wolves. Am I right? Yeah, we <laughs> saw the wolves. <laughs> and, and one of the dogs is like... <laughs> There's some neat dogs over there. Oh, yes, this is uh, Bastion and uh, Azazel. My oh. Dogs. And they're just kind of like these big, like, pound dogs that kind of... He goes, Azazel, uh, And you see the slumbering, like... And it has this dumb tongue out, and it's like... <laughs> can I... Can I pet him? Oh, yeah, you can just pet him right on the nose there. I walk up and I pet him. And it's wet, and he's just like, he leans in you, and you start, he licks the side of your whole fucking body because he's so big and you're so tiny. And you're like, Gleh! and he's just, he's like fucking 100 pounds of sugar. Ah! <laughs> so, I, so, Isaac is, is clearly great security, but can he, he I can't imagine he can. St- guard an entire festival all by himself. Oh, we have other guards. I have uh, 12 guards back at my place, and then he mans the other 12 guards. Oh, good. That seems like enough. That's a lot. Yeah. Just good. But, you know, the only the only way we would ever have to worry about that if Strahd ever comes and he knocks on one of the posts. But we stand. 
we we stand. We're we're here and we're gonna be here. That sounds wonderful. You come early, six a.m. We get you all ready. We have uh, robes made for you and thrones. You shall have thrones here. And he starts oh, planning everything there's... out with you. It's like, and then we'll put this here. You obviously, I see that Izazo has taken liking to you. You'll definitely be sitting next to the dog. Yes. Uh, and uh, you you have preference for wine and drink and beer. And he's like, pushes away. He's like, you are a adventurer. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm Sean. Yeah, Sean, this guy. <laughs> Love this guy. <laughs> my my only concern, yes, is Baron. If if we're front and center, and if something were to happen, well, I have my Strad, to Strad will, he'll, but he'll know where we are. I think we would be better set to blend. Hmm. And he kind of looks. He goes, "You don't want to be in festival." Oh no no, we want to be in the festival. I think as our our group representative. Absidy should be up there solely with Azazel. Maybe even majestically atop Azazel, representing the strength that, that we now share. Your group, our group, all of it. Um, I love that idea. <laughs> My name's XYZ. Sorry, XYZ. I, His last name's Absidy. I'm XYZ Absidy. Such a bad it's name. a foreign name. I'm not from. What here. is that from? My hometown. What's that? Alphabet I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. It's They're a, all dead. It's a sense. It's <laughs> a object. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Roll deception. They they are all dead. Um. Fine. It's, it's the truth. Whatever. So. It's eighteen. It's, I am I am sorry to hear about that, but. Disappoint me. I want uh, all of my my new adventure and well, I'm getting I'm getting brand new armor tomorrow though, and I just want to wear it. And if I have the robes, I don't want to get them tattered. And it's just a R whole Rufio. Oh, the... Rufio. What if we're in some sort of costume? <laughs> costume. Yes. What did you call him? Tommy. Tufio. Roll deception. Oh man. God! You guys are bad at these <laughs> games. You guys are oh. bad at this. <laughs> Not At least 20. he says, I'm Sean. Not 20. Oh, that's Gesundheit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what do you mean costume? Well, you want us to be front and center. Yes. And you want us to blend in. Yep. So what if we are front and center and we hide in plain sight in case something goes on? We could be a giant sun or a giant festival or I could hang out with the dogs. I'm going to hang out with the dogs. <laughs> Wait. So you... Will be mighty dog steed knight rider. Yes. Costume. You, giant fucking son. <laughs> I'm talking like all out, like little arms, head poking out. I, I've never seen the sun, but I assume it is an orb of some kind with pointed things coming out. One would assume. And you, <laughs> you look as champion. We tatter you and war paint. Let Strahd come. But he will not. He has not come. He is coward. And trust me, personally. If I'm in a big sun, where, how am I going to wear my stuff? You wear it under. Oh, great. There's going to be plenty of room then. I'm Sean. Sean he puts his hand on your shoulder. All will be well. Keep oh. telling yourself that. When you have. When your friend here, he has. Hesitancy, anxiousness. I have seen that myself. You are in love, I can tell. All will be well. All will be well. All will be well. I'm Sean. All will be well. All will be well. All will be well on Dirt's leg. Yep. Way to go, Iceman. <laughs> yeah, Iceman. <laughs> he goes, yep. Yeah, all will be well. And he goes, so I will see you here bright and early. You'll have you ready for your costumes. You'll have... I, I'm going to need... If, if we're going to be here really early, I need to get to Pietro first. He's crafting oh. everything for me. We can let Pietro meet you. Oh, great. I would love to put him out like that. Please. Not putting him out at all. I am the burger master after all. You are. You are. Great. It was lovely to meet you. Yes. Uh, maybe... 
some point you could have us over for a dinner or oh i would love that before uh when the festival is over i you are you staying in Velaki? we are after the festival we will let us have dinner fantastic very excited burgomaster thank you so much great please you humble me i'm so excited the miss is so excited and she just kind of she looks kind of excited maybe she like heard over what you had or you know, she assumes that you're going to be front and center for the thing, so she's kind of pumped. Great. All right, so I will see you then. Very good. We'll we'll see you next time. And he kind of goes, ta da, and we walk Azazel past. is kind of like next to you. And he goes, Ooh. I'll see you tomorrow, Izzy. <laughs> Got a little little scruff on yeah. the head. Goes, <laughs> kind of walks back over. We walk past Izzy again. I'll just. Give him another little shot. I'll be like, see you later, buddy. <laughs> that, that was the dog. Owner. Ghost. Sure. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Uh, Let's see what old is it can do. <clears throat> oh, boy. So okay. As you do, um, go ahead and just really quick roll an attack for me. See if you can punch him. I don't want to punch him hard. I just want to. It's See like you can a, give him a love tap. Roll for love tap. Roll for love <laughs> tap. Uh, what am I adding to this? Just add. Uh, attack. Just add dexterity. Oh man, that's only plus one. That's a ten. So you kind of go, and as you go in, catches the wrist, and he goes, "Told you, you like this arm, right?" And as he starts squeezing, and you start, you're like, <clears throat> I mean that hurts, but. Would you really want to hurt your favorite Baron's new adventurer? What? Oh, we're going to be front and center tomorrow. I think I need this arm if I'm going to be here nice and early to sit next to the Baron. And the grip loosens. What? Yeah, you can go talk to him about it. It's going to be XYZ, Sean, and Thomas, just front and center. And Dirk goes, I'm Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> That's Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> and as it goes, fucking missiles. And he and he storms over to the to the Baron. Yeah, it sounds like he hasn't seen his sister in forever. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Okay. And uh, town square. What are we doing? Uh, I'm gonna go. I mean, you should go check on Irina. Yeah. Uh, where we should go check on Irina, but I'm gonna also go let Pietro know that I accidentally fucked him. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, Why did that fuck him? Cause uh, I don't know. It's got to be done tomorrow yeah. now. He didn't have oh, a choice. Oh, yeah. And he's got to be there nice and early. And you see kink. Kink. What? What happens? I didn't want to be front and center. And I told the Baron that I had to come pick up the armor. And he said you would be there nice and early to meet me with it. And I just, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all right. I mean, I gotta really, you know, stop all my other orders. You know, I've been periodically doing this, and I kind of timed it out. But it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Um, I will have it bright and early in the morning for I'm you. I'm gonna give him uh, ten gold pieces. Uh, that's not necessary. I'm gonna give him ten gold pieces. And you just kind of leave it there, and he goes, "I got, I gotta get back to work." Kink, kink, kink. Uh, Sounds kinky to me. <laughs> eh. Are you going by yourself or? Um, well, I thought we were all going, and then you guys can check on the bones while I talk to her. Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, okay. So I guess we're traveling in packs from place to place, as okay. we should. Yeah, <laughs> never split up again. Great <laughs> idea. Uh, as you go, um, you uh, eventually get to St. Andrews, and. <laughs> What's his name? Yeska. Uh, Yeska. Yeska <laughs> is outside. Your new favorite character. At this point, he has a pot on his head, and he's barking orders at his bear. He's like, all right, part of the Yeskian army, we have to work on battle tactics. So, and he takes off the pot. You have to know about the element of surprise. And he pounces the bear. <laughs> he's just <laughs> wrestling the bear. And he's like, <laughs> he goes, ow. <laughs> oh, oh, I hit my funny ball and it's ow. Yes, go. Yeah. You gotta you gotta take it a little bit easy there, kid, okay? I can't take it easy, green guy. 
I gotta make sure that I'm ready. Yeski and Army is gonna be mighty Army, okay? Yeah, I, 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 I get that, but like, you hurt yourself in the first two minutes, you're not gonna win a battle. Yeah, well, you get hurt all the time, I'm assuming. I mean, and he looks at your up. bandage, you're yeah. like... <laughs> you're a little shit. <laughs> this one in the first two minutes. Roll, bet, for, roll for punching Yeska off the planet. I bet, I bet it was. <laughs> I bet it was in the first two minutes. I bet you got hurt real bad. Do you want to feel real pain, Yeska? You got to hit a nine-year-old? <laughs> real man, huh? You challenging me, kid? I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull Shart pulls inside. Off. I'm just going to pull him inside. Puts the pot on his head. <laughs> I'm right here, green guy. Alliance. You punch me, our alliance is broken. Pull, pull it, pulling him inside. I'm broken. just going to flick the helmet. <laughs> Bing. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you pull him inside, and uh, Father Lucian is just kind of... You see his door open, and he's kind of like, rubbing his head. And, oh. Hello. Welcome back. Are you okay? Uh... Didn't sleep very well. Uh, there was uh, the bar owner, Erwin, came by with a bunch of his friends and brought to me more bones and said they were from you, saying that they were St. Andrews. Yeah. You can guess how I'm feeling. I mean... Good. Y- protected. Safe. Safe. Warm. Feel <laughs> loving. Like something. Speaking of warm and loving... Where's Irina? Oh, <laughs> she is not very happy with you guys at the moment. But why? I did not intrude. I didn't want to get punched in the jaw. Oh no. Nose goes. <coughs> well, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna go. Okay. Uh, Sh- Shart, mm. can you stand by the door? In case she tries to beat him up. Yeah, fine. Okay. She's in the back. Okay. I was going to check the grave that we dug up to make sure that it looked okay. You can, so you kind of go <coughs> out with him, and uh, <clears throat> you guys got to go to the, the back of the cemetery. Pray while there. Okay. I'm in dirt. We'll, we'll get to you. I'm just... Uh, doing that powder. Pitter powder, which pitter, I appreciate. Pitter, pitter, pitter. Um, going outside, you see the, uh, the cemetery where you kind of went to, and you see the fresh graves. Um, and then Absidy, as you go out, where uh, you see kind of like this flower bed that Irina's kind of like sitting in, putting flowers in. She's in a, like a white linen kind of like gown. Sounds hot. And, uh, Shark, you're just kind of going up and down the graves, inconspicuously trying to figure out, you're like, is this the one that we did? <laughs> is it this one? Fuck, I can't tell. These all fucking look alike. That's a good, that's a good thing. <clears throat> hey there, beautiful. And she kind of stops. Looks over at you. Goes back to the garden. I like, uh, I like the garden you're working on. I thought you would be mad because, you know, I'm outside. I don't want my brother to see me. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we saw him. <coughs> he... Um, I'm sorry. <sighs> Hug and make up. Kind of puts the, the shawl down and she kind of sits and you're both at eye level. And she goes, I don't like being lied to. That's kind of, uh, kind of a big thing for me. And, uh, little bit of a, uh, you know, Hard pill to swallow when the, everyone but you knows that you are not of your family. I had my hints and ideas, of course, but it's a little bit hurtful that no one told me. Well, when we found out, we didn't really know you yet. So we didn't, we didn't know if it was right to tell you. And then by the time we got to know each other, kind of just slipped our minds. At least mine. I guess I can understand that. 
you just um, you don't lie to me again. Understand? Of course. Yeah. No. Nope, no lies. Okay. She kisses you. So, how was your how was your dinner? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, long story. I just I tell her. I just tell her so she knows. I'm not story. even gonna go through it. Okay. So yeah, you tell the whole thing, and she's like, and "Holy so, shit!" So shards beat the hell out. And um, how are you doing, big boy? Been better. You look bad. You've looked better. Thanks. She smiles at you. So now we are <clears throat> in the Sun Festival tomorrow. Oh. And uh, we might have to kill the Burgermeister. Oh. I see. And that's because of uh, Fiona? <sighs> yes, because otherwise she was going to kill us, and then Rufio, who's also Thomas, depending on who you're talking to, mm. uh, saved us with his words, which is surprising because he's normally not very good with them, but better than Shart. <laughs> and, and I'm rambling. Sorry, I'm just really happy to see you. So what you're saying is you don't know if the bones will protect me. We hope these new ones... I mean, yes, but we think these new ones are the real bones. So I should probably have, like, bodyguards for the night, right? Yes. But, like, it one that's be really sneaky. Strong. Or sneaky and can blend in to Not the shadows. Someone with big sword and armor. Oh, no, you want inconspicuous uh, rapier and a dagger. <laughs> Which I coincidentally have. Oh, you do. I have right here. I have a dagger. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at that. Uh, so you think, and she kind of leans forward. She's like, so inconspicuous, sword, dagger. I mean, it sounds like me. I don't want to put words. Oh, me no. Me, you wouldn't want to do that. No, of course not. And she smiles and she goes, so when are you going to come by? Real quick. Do we have something we have to do tonight? I feel like there was something. Uh, you have to get it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean we had some. I need to sleep, and yeah. we need to be bright and early at the town square. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, Look, my 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 thought is, if we have to sneak out, we can put one of the bird people in the costumes, <laughs> <laughs> and you can just ride the dog to safety. Yes, <laughs> Cecil, away! And you put Irene on the back of the dog. <laughs> um, so. Let's see, if we have to get there at, like, five, six, six, six. so eight hours you plus an hour of travel, five, five six, seven, I'll be back here around seven or eight. What time is it now? About two. Okay. So five hours? Yeah, a couple hours to get everything sorted for tomorrow, mm. and then I'll come back and protect you all night long with my rapier. And dagger. Definitely and not the, the one you wanted to use. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of looks around. And she, like, thinks about it. She smirks. And she goes, okay. Oh, uh, before you leave, uh, before you, you arrive, uh, make sure that you are uh, properly hydrated. I don't need you passing out. And she gets up. <coughs> Ship. Shutter walk or whatever it's called. New girl. <laughs> Uh, and she just, she fucking leaves. And she smiles. <laughs> she looks back at you, smiles, goes back into the uh, the abbey. I walk back out to them. Hey, can you drink holy water? I don't think you should. <laughs> don't want to do that. Why okay. are you drinking holy? It's got like salt in it, right? <coughs> Something like that. It's like salty. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just trying to. I just need to be hydrated. Why? What do you need to be hydrated for? Um. Tomorrow, because we're going to be in the sun. Yes. And I don't want to pass out because I'm sense. hanging out with the dogs. And I want to spend time with the dogs. Also, I'm going to guard Irina tonight. No connection. Oh, got it. What? Sex. What? Oh, you can just say that. <laughs> just what? say that. Just be, like, honest, man. <laughs> I was about to roll insight on you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Crazy. Um, Yeah. Uh, was there anything you wanted to do, Shark? No, I'm good. I ain't praying or nothing. Cool. <laughs> Great. All right. Anything else we wanted to do? 
Oh, well, he's going to pray with... Well, yeah, I prayed when he was inside. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Any... Did I... More aura? No? More aura. Yeah. Okay. Haven't seen it. Do you... You're looking for this fucking hand. You're like, yeah. Where's this fucking, fucking hand? hand? Nothing. No hand. No hand. All right. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, maybe try to find out more about the festival. About what we're looking at for tomorrow. Because I mean, right now we're flying in pretty blind. I mean... He said he was going to break everything down for us tomorrow, right? Yeah, he's going to tell us. I, about it just—it looked morning. like there was a whole bunch of fucking tents he was going to put up. Maybe, maybe they threw tomatoes at those people in the barracks. That'd so be we fun. should practice throwing. <laughs> You're good at throwing, right? I'm good at throwing. <coughs> he's not. You're going to be a he's son. Not at, he's not. He's not good at throwing. You're not good at throwing. I'm not the best. I'm good at throwing you. I mean, kind of. That's arguable. <laughs> so, hey, son, boy, calm down. You guys discuss this. All right, uh, warrior war. Anything paint. you're gonna do before? Yeah, I at least look cool. You're gonna be a big. Is there old anything ball else we need to do? Uh, <clears throat> I don't. I, should we talk to Lady Fiona? Oh, tell her about tomorrow. Yeah, you can write her like a correspondence letter, and I'm gonna tell her to her face. Okay. Uh, takes a little bit, but the gist of the the conversation is, you know, are you going? You know, I just. I, we want to gain his trust. This isn't going to happen tomorrow, but we want to get... Sure. You gain his trust and what? Stab him in the back. When? When we gain his trust. And Dirk goes, we're having dinner with him after the festival. Oh, God, Dirk. Stupid son of a bitch. And she goes, I don't see a more perfect opportunity. Well, I mean, home? it's going to depend on who's around. It, it seems like you don't really care about who's around. She has a point. <laughs> I do have a point. You? Really? You? You're gonna pipe up right now? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> if, if the opportunity presents itself. Oh, of course. We got found out once, remember? We don't want that to happen again, because then you don't have someone to help you. Maybe you don't bring the giant fucking lug when you're sneaking around. I mean, we didn't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> This one couldn't carry it, so. I'm small. Yeah, barbarian, my dick. I'm a barnacle. <laughs> be on your guard. I will be at the parade as well. I'm very excited to see you. Oh, by the way, mm. if we correspond, uh, Thomas. Thomas? XYZ. XYZ. Sean. No. You're Sean. That's Iceman, also. No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> I've been hearing. All about, for the past, like, 24 hours, about some stupid person named Sean looking for the dog. That's you. You're Sean. Sean. Of course. Of course you're Sean. You don't even seem surprised. I'm not. I'm not at this fucking point. You shouldn't be. Is the dog even real? Is there a dog? No. I hope so. <laughs> I found a dog. And she looks over at Ernst, and she goes, there isn't even a fucking dog. And Ernst is like, there could be a dog. Please leave. Okay. Go. Love you. You all get up and you have your pleasant conversation. Yay. All right, then we go back and I'm going to die. Okay. So you go back and immediately, the minute you go, you're like, pass out. What are you doing for the next like 12 hours? Mostly sleeping. I need it. I need it. Okay. Because <clears throat> I need a long rest, and uh, but I'm probably just gonna pound a couple drinks at the at, uh, at the bar before I try and pass out and talk to Paul. Okay, so you just kind of like pound drinks, and I'll just give you like a summary of what happens for your night. So, Rufio, you immediately just knock the fuck out. You're out like a fucking light. Um, Shark. Go downstairs, you drink with the locals, you find the fucking wolf trappers, and you're like, holy shit, I got a store where we found that fucking kid. You guys, like, you fucking shoot the shit, and you're just pounding fucking drinks, and at some point around maybe like six, you see Absidy leave his room, and he just kind of goes out, and you're like, fuck yeah, get it in. <laughs> and, my little dude. My little dude. <laughs> hydrate, I don't need you to, like, squirt once and then die from dehydration because you're tiny. <laughs> He's tiny. He's going to get it in. And he's just like cheering the whole like tavern just cheers. And everyone's like, hey. Absurdity. Absurdity. And as you leave, the tavern is <coughs> chanting your name. 
and it feels pretty good. You're like, you feel 10 feet tall. Uh, you and feel five feet tall. <laughs> yeah, five foot one. Uh, a little happy. Uh, and probably around like 10, you just pass out on your bed. Uh, dirt, you don't see very much of him. He kind of like, he's hanging out with you for a little bit. He'll go up, he'll sleep. And eventually maybe around nine, he turns in. Uh, Absidy. So you leave at about six. Make your way over to the uh, St. Andrews. I need you to roll stealth to make sure that you're not seen by anyone. Uh, 14. Oh my god, that's so low! <laughs> you're just kind of like, ee! and you start opening one of the windows, and Yeska's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it uh, be Yeska. I was checking the window to make sure that it was <laughs> locked or not. That's my room, though. What are you doing? I was making sure that you were safe. I'm outside my room. So you you're not inside. So you're not safe. <laughs> I got bail checking my back, and bear's just kind of like to the side. He like you look at it, the bear, and the bear was up, and then it just goes eat. Bear's got my back. He looks pretty tired. You might want to take him to sleep. Roll deception at advantage because he's a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nineteen. 20, mod 20. He looks at you and he goes, I'm going to go in my womb, but not because I'm tired. He rubs his eye like he's <laughs> like a fucking dumb, tired kid. And he goes, I'm watching you, Kimasabi. <laughs> but watch yourself. Because you don't want to be on the wrong side of this army when I get big. I'm going to have an army of bales. Good. Yeah. I'll I'll watch you watch me, and you can watch me watch you watch you me. That'd be weird. I won't want to do that. Good. Then we won't watch each other then. Good. High five. (laughs) All right. I'm going to go in my room now. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Okay, cool. And you see him climb up into the window (laughs) that you opened. And he takes Bear. And slowly but surely, it's just like, and he's just looking at you. So now I find the right window. Go ahead and roll stealth again for me. <laughs> What'd you do? One, I get a re-roll. Fourteen. Fourteen. It takes you a little bit, uh-huh. and you're like, Irina. <gasps> Irina. And <clears throat> opens window, and Irina's like, what are you doing outside? <laughs> I thought you were stealthy. I'm coming to protect I you. Just, no, I get the, I got the thing. Just get the... Okay. And closes, and hey. uh, so she goes, so, this is the place. This is my room. I've done a lot of redecorating. It looks like nothing. Like, she had, like, her stuff out, and maybe they're on, like, a dr- dresser. She's like, please, I know, hold applause. Very well decorated. You know, it's nice. I like the way that the stuff is yours mm. and in the room. <laughs> You always have a way with words, you know that? Ah, uh, yeah, sometimes. And she, she kisses you. Um, and we're just going to pan to the fireplace. <laughs> um, and it takes about, it's like about nine or ten where, Rufio, you, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Sixteen. Make it at disadvantage. 16. 16. Can I fail on purpose? You. I'll give it to you. You can fail on purpose. So, as you start. (laughs) As you start drifting, you're like. Thinking about whore. And you're thinking about everything. And you start hearing those gongs again and again. And then eventually. You start smelling the, the oak of your father's desk. And you slowly open your eyes and you're in these big puffy, it does get cold in here, uh, these big puffy leather armchairs and you're sitting across from the desk and chair revolves. It's your father. He looks at you and he smiles, puts his hand on the desk, puts your hand, his hand on your shoulder, gently squeezes and he walks out. Uh, no, don't. Closes the door. And you can hear muffled talking. Between him and you would assume your mother, you can hear your mother, you hear her laugh again. And the door opens. 
and where you expected because you've been here before you expect yeah. a fucking grizzled angry looking whore to come out but someone else comes out adorned in all black very pale thin slender woman with black hair and she has a raven perched onto her shoulder as she looks around she looks at you she sits down it's quaint here who who are you your whore's boy yes I'm I'm Thomas's boy but I doing some bidding for horror currently roll a religion check for me I think that's a straight roll four do it at advantage you might know who this person is because you're a knight <laughs> eight <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very hard roll <clears throat> as you look at her the black couldn't get a 16 that time she has a giant fucking raven on her shoulder and she has these this almost pale white skin red lips green eyes you're in the presence of death as the raven queen sits across from you at your father's chair well uh is this is this cuz i dove in the lake with armor on is this it am i done now you were very close had to save the girl you had to save the girl of course of course you did. But it wasn't her time to go. Not because you saved her, but because I deemed it so. You know that, right? Never heard. You know a little bit. I don't I don't take kindly to people tempting fate, death. Unless <laughs> she smiles and she looks down at you and she goes, Do you know I was human once? Uh, no. Before all of this. I always, I always forget how human emotions just take over, whether it's passion or anger, or love, hate. You're just so fascinating. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. It wasn't... You're so older. Is that... Uh, is that a good thing? Well... How old were you? You were six? Seven? Yeah. I was there. Of course. Thanks for that. I had to take them. You didn't. And she kind of looks at you and she goes, I know you're angry. Obviously, that's why Hor chose you and he was able to get you. But... What if I could offer you something that he can't for my services for temporary? What's that? Strahd von Zarevich has been running around in this realm way too long. And honestly, I don't think you're getting it done just on your own. <coughs> I think you need a um, a woman's touch, so to speak. What would you do for me? Oh. Well, and she kind of gestures over to the door, and you can hear your father and your mother talking. You don't know what they're saying. I can't bring them back, of course, but I can give you time. 20 minutes anything you want what would I have to give you you would have to promise me that you would bring him to justice but not that easy you have to prove yourself it's not not everything just falls in your lap There's a test coming. As we speak, things are unfolding. And you will be called to action a lot sooner than you think you were. It's 
And she kind of looks... It's the second day before the festival, correct? Yeah. Interesting. Now she say th- says that. We'll pan to Shart. <coughs> and Shart, soon you... <laughs> and soon you wake. And you're in the forest. And Paul is slumbering towards you. And he looks hurt. And he goes... <coughs> Puts his head in your lap and his breathing's labored. <sighs> Paul. Uh, sorry. What happened? It's Vinny's hurt. What? Vin's hurt. It's coming. What? What's coming? It looks at you. You have to wake up. What's coming? You have. You have to wake up. And as you do that, slowly you start hearing fire crackling and burning. And as it pans back to you, Rufio, the Raven Queen goes, all your tests, all your strength, save the girl. It's always not that easy, is it? And then with that, we'll pan to (laughs) Absidy. In Absidy, it's about ten, and you're in Irina's arms, and you're holding each other. And this is a restful seat, sleep that you've you haven't felt in a long time, and you're just you're so comfortable, and you feel the you you've never felt the presence of a god, but you feel like you just feel safe. And as you do, you hear a pounding at the door, frantic, purposeful. And as you look out the window, you start seeing trees on fire you look outside you start seeing buildings on fire as you see rabid dogs and werewolves and skeletons going through the city ripping people out from their buildings and in the distance you hear yelling over and over Tatiana come out here Tatiana and as you hear this Irina starts stirring And slowly her eyes appear open and they're glassed over. And she starts getting up as this shouting is getting louder and louder. And you're you're pulling at her at her wrists. And uh, Paul is back at you and he goes, You you have to You have to wake up. (sighs) Please. Yeah. (laughs) And it's just this smoke is starting to fill your lungs as your eyes shoot open and you're in the tavern and it's just your room is on fire at the moment and Rufio she goes this is your test you survive I help you I give you more power and I give you power to stop him I give you them do we have a deal challenge You fail, I see you anyway. Then I have nothing to lose. And as you clutch, you feel, you hear the bells, the tolling of the dead as you shoot up and everything is just on fucking fire in the Blue Water Tavern. And you're just, your throat is filling up with smoke. And Absidy, as you get to the front of the door, the pounding stops. And Irina just moves past you. And you're just trying to grab onto her as hard as you can. And as you open up the door... 50 feet away from it, away from the church, outstretched his hand, his strahd. And with that, we'll end tonight. That. (laughs) Um, Yeah, well. Dick. Just gonna wrap it up. Like. Thanks for watching. Comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Fucking twisted shit. Tell us what you think might happen. Um, I just want to, like, just point out how incredible of a storyteller Justin is again, because that last like ten minutes I was just yeah no was cool. zoned in. My on hands him. are legitimately sweaty. Yeah, like, guys, give Top Tabling a follow. Follow Justin; he's phenomenal. And uh, yeah, just just shower him with praise, please, because that was insane. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we will see you next time. Um. 
Bye. See ya.